The Arsenal lined against the TGRC kept piling up today. First was the decision by the Chief Justice to constitute a three-judge bench to hear a case filed against it. The case that will be had on the 16th and 17th of next month has been filed by civil society groups under the name Kenyans Against Impunity. We also wanted uh, to get in fact a stay order against the TGRC so that they will continue, they will stop going around the country, uh, consuming public money in a situation where nobody is listening to them. Then there is the problem of the Indemnity Act, a law which protects the perpetrators of atrocities committed by public officers and armed forces during conflict in northeastern province and upper eastern region during the Shifta War between 1963 and 1967, the climax of which was the Wagala massacre. A bill which seeks to repeal the Indemnity Act has been published. The bill, called Indemnity Repeal Bill by nominated MP Mohamed Afay, will be tabled in Parliament when it reopens next week. We want the Commission to suspend its visit until we are sure that Parliament has given the necessary go-ahead. Meanwhile, the Kenya Human Rights Commission has given TGRC Chairman Bertel Kiplagat a seven-day ultimatum to step down or else face mass action. The activists allege that Kiplagat has been mentioned in several cases such as illegal acquisition of land in Nairobi and Eldred and in the murder of former Foreign Affairs Minister Dr. Robert Ouko. If the chair is one of the people who are alleged to have been involved in these atrocities, which are within the mandate of the commission, there's going to be a lot of conflicts. And then that means the chair will have to appear in the commission as a culprit. Justice Minister Mutuila Kilonzo has defended Kiplagat, saying that he was appointed through the government and anyone with complaints should forward them to his ministry. I cannot just wake up and remove uh, Bethuel Kiplagat. I've got to have some some system. With the barrage on the TJRC building up, it may be a tall order for it to complete its mandate of addressing past human rights violations within the specified period of two and a half years. Yes. Andrew Ochieng, Citizen News.